day three of this build. So Stan's already made progress. Removed the front bumper. Front end is completely disassembled. Almost like Matt's truck. And if you guys didn't know, Matt's truck is going to SEMA along with Stan's. We're towing both of these trucks with Matt's dually. Hence, that's why it's called the tow pig. Also got to look for a gooseneck that's going to work for this application. Right now, Stan is removing the mirrors so we can get that painted and also install boost auto parts, switch back lights. It's also going to be smoked out. But yeah, Matt's redoing his grill and bumper. But luckily, most of his build was done last year for SEMA 2020, which got canceled. His crunch isn't as serious as Stan's where, you know, we're trying to redo the whole thing uh, in two weeks. Mirrors off. And then this morning he popped the um, hood scoop off, which the bezel on the hood is chrome and that's going to get painted color matched with the truck and i brought go recon tail lights that were on my truck we're going to put it on stan's truck because it's going to look better on his truck than mine also i just kind of prefer the factory style better and i brought 36 premium rock lights also with the premium plus and i'll show you guys those rock lights this thing's heavy yeah that's heavy right <laughs> That's Solid. the premium. I like it. No, this is the premium plus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess it fits the truck, right? Look I needed it. oversized rock lights Bro. for my oversized truck. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I think that's why one uh, in the wheel well with two, two of the of premiums is going to be dude, bright enough. Because most people do like four of these. Yeah. But that itself is pretty much twice. So are we going to sit under the truck at night and like try to Mm -hmm. We can. To yeah. Try to well, I would stuff. say like we can do our go-to basic like four on the uh, frame. Yeah. And then from there we're gonna sit down. Dude, I'm not even worried about even if we just place them in random spots. Yeah. Your truck's not gonna have any shadow. No. It's so tall. But we are gonna sit underneath at night and calculate where everything's gonna go. So you remember on the black truck. When I put my light in, I ended up running some through some of the cross member frame pieces because if you look, they actually have holes. Mm -hmm. This is too big, but those, that hole is almost identical to oh, that yeah. size. The only thing is in order to mount them, I had to drill holes on either side. Like I had to lay it on the front side and mark it, mm -hmm. drill those holes and put a bolt through there and figure out how to reach the other side. But I thought of an idea of how to hold them in place without having to try to hold a nut inside of the frame rail. Just use the Christmas trees. Push it. You can hold the back side of it just enough. You can push that Christmas tree through there huh. and it'll actually hold it. I have never thought about that. Yeah, just to be able to push it through without, you know, and then it makes it easier to remove. So you just kind of push on hard enough, it's going to pop yeah. off the Christmas tree. Hmm. We'll have to try that. So we'll use Christmas trees. We'll get going with the mirrors and then we'll do the tail lights and then I'll get started on working on the wheel well liners. I brought the table. You brought a table? Oh, thank God. For the mirrors or? Huh? For both. Oh, sweet. Hey, you want to just go ahead and... Oh, you got both of the uh, door panels off. So That was easy. Let me tell you something. It's, it's a lot easier than on the older trucks. Oh, yeah. Because that one-piece harness, like, simple. I can't remember how it was my table. Uh, but, yeah, it did make it significantly simpler to undo. That instruction. Why would you put the instructions on how to open the table inside of the table? Hmm. Like, Tear apart an entire truck. That's what. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, yeah, guys. Stan knows how to take the uh, axle off of the truck, but can't figure out the master the the secrets of a plastic table. There we go. Because you already know the comment sections are gonna be like, I know, it's fine. this dude can disassemble a truck, but can't open up a table. All right, I've been roasted more on YouTube in the last year of my life, and the honest truth is, I'm kind of numb to it at this point. Why? It's cool, guys. Say whatever you want. All right, so. Yeah, so the plastic liners actually just, or the, the door panel is pretty simple, right? It's like four bolts. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that this clip is kind of I hate around. those. Yeah, that's going to be Because I cool. actually didn't even reuse a couple of mine. Uh, I think what we'll do is maybe get a little super glue and just dab it underneath here to keep it in place. Yeah. Like set everything back. So one, two, three. There's like the handle cover right here. Which is this 
this piece mm -hmm. and pop that off. There's two screws underneath there. And then there's a plastic like flat cover yeah. up underneath the pull handle. Mm -hmm. That pops off and there's two screws on the bottom and that's just literally these little. Oh, one thing we need to do is take these out yeah. and put that on In your door. door. Yeah, because there's actually one right here. I think this is one of them because that i did not see until i started to like assemble my thing yeah and i was like why is it not popping in it's because so. that pop all that out and then this thing is just like you push it twist it out and uh that's it there's your harness right there yeah Literally simply like all you unplug and, bam, and door panel comes off you remove that cover and it's like four little uh bolts, bolts and your mirror should pop out that easy bam Look at that harness right there and everything. Good job, GM, on engineering this. This is actually made to work. On. Yeah, for once, they, they got it right. Kind of got it right. Yeah. Now I will say this is. There we go. Okay. I don't. I don't the locking clip sometimes is like a pain in the ass. Yeah. But uh. There we go. I will say this. I've never removed a set of mirrors and had to reach up to hold the mirrors. It's always been like right here, trying to grab the mirrors. No, I've never had to do that before. <laughs> removing like somebody's mirrors. This is absolutely insane. Like, I think like up here I've done, but like, I'm like, I feel like I'm doing shoulder press. Shoulder press. All right, let's, let's use Matt's truck as a comparison. Like this, I can do. This, very reasonable. This, like his camera on the mirror, it looks like a house camera, like a ring camera that you put on the roof. I will tell you the fun thing about having a truck this tall is when you do drive around, you can see what everybody is doing in their vehicles. That's true. Literally everybody. There's not a lot of people that I can't see inside your car. It's so. like driving a semi truck. She lost mine, so I, I did didn't you? even I didn't even reuse that. Oh, uh, you can buy these though. I just need to make sure they're the right like thread. But I like I'll probably go over to um Ace Hardware and pick up a whole box of yeah. them for like a dollar. So try to get them back in there. That was that kind of sucks. I guess this should have been in there tighter. There's another one. In but there. if you're not missing a couple of clips, did you really modify your truck? Right. I bet you it's behind that. I hate removing these because they never. Yeah, I'm not taking Go back off. on. Yeah. So I'll find a way to put that in there. Um, they have those like push nuts that go in here. They're mm -hmm. like plastic, which would be enough to hold the door panel because it's actually held by these. That's yeah. just a, to keep them from coming out. Oh, I didn't oh, worry I about it. I got them all out. There was just one. One state of this door. All right. All right. What size is that? It should like, be a 10 mil thing. That? Hell no, man. Oh, okay. That might, might no, be a 13? Yeah, 13, 14. My LOI is uh, 10 mil. It was stuck on there. Because Matt actually has a video on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is that it? Yeah. And yeah, this one's a little different. Ah. Yeah. yeah. That semi monkey. Yeah. You find something tapping it. Yeah, but I'm not gonna try to pull on it because I don't want to fall backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm just tapping the backside. Good thing is those they have those uh those heavy hidden. Nope, got it. That's how it really should be. We just got lucky with the first mirror. Yeah. Now I gotta climb back down. Gently. All right. Now that's how you do it. So Stan studied on YouTube for hours on how to disassemble these mirrors. Usually the scariest part is like breaking the glass. Yeah. Don't break the top one. Oh, actually don't break the bottom one because the top one I have so an extra. <laughs> the bottom one I was told, pull it up this way and then just apply even pressure on the back side right here. Yeah. It's just four clips yeah. holding the whole mirror in. There you go, easy. I don't know why I didn't do Unbroken. that. Unbroken. Yeah. So well, I'm gonna do one at a time. So we yeah. focus here. All right. So I'm gonna tip this one all the way up. Apply pressure on the bottom side. I, that one, you can get a flathead and start 
prying the clips. Well, I can see the clips from like clearly from here. Yeah. So. Oh. There it goes. What the? That was too easy. Yep. Maybe there's a pre-prying. All right. So wires right here. This should be your defroster on the mirror. Oh, so it's only held by four clips. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. You know, like the LOI is old school that has like 10. Yeah. No, these are probably why they're a lot easier to do. Damn. All right. One harsh clip right here for your uh, lane departure and uh, blind spot monitoring light, I guess, on the top right here. Okay. Push down the clip, pull it out. Two mirrors out. Perfect. All right. Four torque spits right here. Where? One, two, three, and four. All right. I was gonna remove this outer face right here. So, on uh, what I'm gonna do is, let me see your phone. The only reason I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take a picture of this like layer by layer. Cause then when we start going back, I know exactly where the wires were routed through. Okay. Because by the time we get done with this, we're gonna have taken apart half an entire truck. And That's so true. Be, I think those are T15s. One wire is routed this way. And the other one is routed this way. And this is for you guys to take take notes. Alright, let's see if this is T15. Damn, T15 exactly. Alright, so this comes on up here. I guess it sounds like every single company is flying poorly. Alright, so Backs out of here. This is your reverse light, your uh, tow mirror reverse light. Oh, that was easy. Light. Wires are through here. So now one, two, three, four screws and a motor come out, all as one unit. Oh, nice. Push them out. Oops. This layer one screw right here and then this one Christmas tree clip and another torque spear right there. So before I pull these out, there's these two pins that go through here. Mm -hmm. Both these pins have to come out. So I had to get a flathead and kind of knock this one out and then grab it with pliers. But I do know every single person, oh, every single person said you have to be really cautious with this plastic lip right here. Because obviously these pins, if you look at them. They're coming straight out this way. So yep. you have to be really careful with this lip. This one obviously already has kind of a cutout for it, but I'm gonna take a screwdriver. I'm gonna kind of pry it down. I'm gonna pry this one down. I'm gonna grab it with some pliers and yank them both out. Once those both come out, those pins will release all of this in one shot. So, so why do you need to take that out? What? Why do you need to take that out? Uh, to get all of the the light out of the back right here. This has to come out. Uh -uh. Switch back? Yeah. How else you gonna get switch back? Dude, out? they did it with everything on the, uh, with my mirror on the truck. They Push probably the slid it out and around. Yeah. But I still need to take this off of this this whole face right here. Because I'm going to send them just the bare arm. You know what I mean? This has to come out. This has to come out. You don't want to just send it to them like that and let them paint it like that? Um, I mean, everyone I watched that actually has painted it and yeah. broke it down with the pins out and everything. Huh. Not one person I saw actually got it done. Right, so here's where I'm to get it like over here. You can kind of push this out. right there okay but this one to get it started everybody had the same problem which is this is significantly tighter it like went into the <laughs> into the what you call it figure it out yeah every oh look look i found a secret put a flathead in there Hey. Twist a little bit. Looky, looky. There you go. You saw here first, folks. Yep. Struggling on starting that one. There you go. Ta da. There we go. What did you do? Okay. All I do is prying up under here. I just had like, it was just tight from being in there. Okay. Dang. Just like that. So there you go. So now I can go ahead and release. This harness for the switchback or for the uh, factory light. We're going to switchbacks. We're just auto part switchbacks. And get rid of the GM stuff. Are you going to get that painted? What? The switchbacks? I thought about it, but 
I think I'm gonna leave them alone for right now. For right now? Because I'm looking at it without doing that frame, popping a mirror, I'm pretty sure I could have got this out mm -hmm. without removing everything. Because if you look, there's no yeah. screws on the backside right here. Literally, Boost Auto Parts did it in like 15 minutes in Daytona. Go back to your lives and look. There we go. Bam. Just like that. Now, the other option is let Alex take these over, see what he could do with these, and get rid of the chrome on the inside. Paint or Phil. Yeah. Phil. Um, hey, you know Phil did mats. Did he match the insides? Yeah. I mean... I know he did the mirror, but he sends the mirror off to paint. So... You think you put the maybe clears lens? Oh, see, so they taped them and painted yeah. on the outside. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, that's what I meant by painting oh, the boost I auto parts. Like the inside uh -oh. back part of it, the chrome, because I've seen people paint, take yeah. the lens apart and actually paint the inside. Well, I meant boost auto parts because it smokes and then you can tape up and uh, just have the lights show through. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, I think you should do that. This part just slides off. And now we got the back housing. Easy. Now, I forgot when earlier this chrome piece. So when I took it off, it, this part actually just comes off. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any clips or anything holding it. I'm gonna move these screws so I don't lose any of them. And um, this part though, now that we've actually got it out of the way, it's probably easier to do it here. These things are super fragile. So the easiest thing to do is probably like up under this black plastic clip. This is some flimsy plastic. Mm -hmm. so, and, and it's hard to keep them all out. But watching the other guys do this, See, I kind of pulled it up a little bit, just keep a little pressure on there. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is jam this right behind it just a little bit, kind of help. So keep that is actually really similar to all the previous mirrors. Really? Yeah. Pry up? Yeah, the chrome trims on the previous mirrors. Being a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jam, you didn't learn from the first time. They don't care. They're like, yeah, we just break them off and put new ones on every time we have to work on something like that. They're like, uh, they're probably like, it's not meant to be taken apart. I mean, but by now you figure they would have like the knowing that there's a massive aftermarket for it. So it's like, you know, the prize out. Bam. Just like that. Chrome tops off. All right, so now this part right here. I watched the guy take this out, but I don't see the point of needing to take that out of there. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we're looking to get this painted and all they're gonna have to do is tape this off and tape this off. This is not being taken apart. It'll be painted like that. I don't need to separate it. Mm -hmm. So, puddle light is actually the easiest part of this whole thing. Oh, the puddle light comes out? Yeah, and watch. It's it's honestly like stupid how easy it is. Let me just get a smaller screwdriver. I could swap this out. Oh, that's what Matt did. He swapped it out with the one that has GMC in it. Yeah. So look. Pry this out. That's it. Oh, snap. Done, puddle light out. Easiest part of the whole Dude, what if I put my rock light in it? That'd be pretty dope. Right? Yeah. Let's figure out there's your there's your uh, size you need. Set it up in there perfectly. All right. Now, there's actually a torque spit here, but for some reason, my mirror doesn't have a torque spit in it. So that's good to know. Wait, you, you didn't have a torque spit in it? There's nothing in there. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. It's was this the driver's? This is the side that came out really easy. Yeah. So I feel like it's been removed before. I wonder if that side's been on an accident. Nope, no way. Wondering why the mirror was removed. I don't know. And then the fact that the bottom corner, it's got bubbles. Oh. The rocker panel's got bubble like it's been repainted. Wire right there. Okay. Nothing. It's crazy there's so many freaking cameras on this truck. But the nice thing too with being that high is, yeah. I get a really well, good 360 degree view. I'm just not looking forward to the day, like maybe 10 years from now, where those cameras stop working. <laughs> Hopefully by then I've sold it and bought a new truck. <laughs> but. Wouldn't that just suck like 10 years from now? You know, all these electronics and now you have to replace like camera by camera. These two bolts for some reason are T10s. Uh, Which so removes the camera. Camera's out. Leave that to be painted as well. I'll pop my camera back in it comes back from paint. That's literally it. This mirror is actually, other than prep obviously, it's ready to be painted. Like I said, I could pull this cover out and this cover out, but that just doesn't make any sense. If they're gonna paint it we can tape off these spots where we don't want them to like mess with it and tape off these tape the wiring off or tuck it inside and then they'll be able to spray these pretty well mm -hmm. so everything except for the chrome pieces will get painted i'm gonna leave the chrome on there because there is going to be some chrome accents so i'm obviously leaving my big denali hd right um badge on the side you gotta let people know it's a denali yeah confuse me with an at4 <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, poor people problems, right? <laughs> um, but that's it, man. Break this one down, and that'll be these parts will be ready to go. Well, there you go, guys. This is how you tear apart these 2020 plus GM tow mirrors. A few hours went by. We installed the Go Recon tail lights because really that's all we can do right now at this moment. Yep. Only that looks really good, smoked out. Because Stan is basically going with factory color and a little bit of chrome, but smoked out. So I think the back, from the back side, it'll be all smoked out this way. Mm -hmm. From the front side, it'll be a whole lot of clears yeah. and white lights on it. You know what I mean? So like, to give it two different profiles. So business in the front, party in the back. There, there you go. So he's going for that look. Just like Ron Burgundy. Buddy. Exactly. Ron Burgundy. Only dilemma with the recon tail lights, which I ran into as well, is it comes with this big old plug that requires us to unplug this factory wire right here. And what that does is it kills the connection to this, meaning your fender flare lights don't work. When I was in Daytona, I was on the Daytona Crunch and we did the recon tail lights the night before I left. And when I got to Daytona, I realized my front fender flare lights were, were on, but my back wasn't on. So I automatically assumed that whenever I put my painted fender flares on, I thought I didn't plug this connection back to the lights. So when I got back home and I uh, undid the fender flares and saw that they were connected and I put my factory ones on there and tested it out, it still wasn't working. And I've come to kind of find out that it was recon tail lights. So I don't know if I did it wrong or if we're doing it wrong. So uh, we're gonna have to figure out what, what needs to be done to make the fender flare lights work. Cause there's a couple of guys on Instagram that I've seen and theirs is working. So we'll, we'll figure it out and let you guys know. There it is, party in the back. That looks really good. That looks really mean. It kind of looks like, well, his name is Ironhide. And uh, I was gonna say, it kind of looks like Transformers from behind. And I I've always thought these 2020s kind of look like Transformers anyway. But with the Go Recons and just how massive this thing is, yeah, it definitely looks like a Transformer. Ooh, yeah. Those reverse lights are pretty bright too. That looks good. Yeah. Right. Now we just gotta figure out how to make that work with the fender flare lights. All recon. Mm -hmm. Have them give us which wires on the harness is the parking light. Yeah. And then we'll probably have to T tap those up from the original harness, which we can use that original piece and just heat shrink it mm -hmm. and then tap into those. And maybe it's just a mix up between Chevrolet and GMC. They Maybe. look good, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. I like them. I think that's a good look. Now we need to figure out how to get these to flash like that on brake. On brake? Brake, yeah. Like double flash and solid. What do you mean? To be able to take that brake, that brake light, mm -hmm. flash like that, and then go solid when you hit the brakes. Double just, flash and then just brake. tap it and then brake. Yeah, no. I want to do it. That's what I feel like. Kind of like uh, some of those uh, cars, how like BMWs and stuff mm -hmm. like do. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, hyper flash for a second and lock. Mm -hmm. It's like the newer Mustangs do that, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. Technically, because what's the turn signal on it? Here, I'll hold it, hold it, I'll yeah. show you. If I can reach it, <laughs> I mean, I can reach the brake. All right, got a brake light. I don't think you can do the turn signal. You can do the uh, hazards. I don't see, I can't reach the hazards. All right, you do this, I'll do that. <laughs> I really can't reach the hazards. I might have to get the ladder. I really couldn't get to it. And the fact that the truck is on jack sands, I really didn't want to like go up, up there. Oh, they're like way in the center. Huh? Yes. Don't get, just get your, uh, just get a ladder. Oh shit. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Yeah, don't do that. That was weird. 
Right. Don't do that. That's weird. Felt it like tip. Yeah. But it's because the front suspension was set on. Mm -hmm. I mean, the back didn't move, but still, it just. Yeah, it's still like. Sketch. I prefer to have it. We'll find out later. Yeah. Whenever we have everything put together, that's when you guys will find out how all of this will work. I say that these are not secure. Those things are 20,000 pounds a piece. So, pretty sure I could stack two of these trucks on one of those jack stands. Not recommended, but you could. Not recommended. <laughs> you could balance them on there and hold it. But it's just because I'm the way that I'm having to sit on there at the moment, mm -hmm. I'm not real. Usually I like to sit on a frame. But, um, being that we had the leaf springs and everything had to come out from underneath it, it was kind of like, this is the best placement for us to be able to get everything out of the way. Premium Plus and two premiums. Damn. That is just three rock lights. Yeah, that's bright, dude. Like, super bright. That's awesome. Dude, like, like the light extends all the way out to in the garage yeah keep it solid for a second what keep it solid there yeah. it lights all the way out to the line yeah. nice like comment and subscribe <laughs> <laughs>